I'm Brad Levitt, president of AFT Construction. Welcome to our YouTube channel today. We are again showcasing our Net Zero Iconic Home. This is Professional Builders Home of the Year. We are here on episode six. Make sure and comment, like, and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. So here on episode six, we're gonna speak about thermal breakage, right? So in episode five, we talked about the energy sticks. The energy sticks are a great solution to that exterior wall to go from R20 to R30, which really helps here in the desert, especially in this really harsh summer that we have. Another key component is you're thinking about the exterior of the structure, right? And you can see here just by the ICF. Now in some parts of the house, you're gonna have the interior slab that's going to line up and so as we pour the slab this is going to hit uh, the, the exterior wall and because of the energy sticks because of the concrete we're going to have thermal break so this slab is not on the exterior of the home that's not the case all the way around the house especially where you have exterior doors right so as you think about we have multi sliders here exterior french doors right so as you install that you can't have this stem wall, right? The slab can't come to here because you can't step over this. You know, it's flush with the slab. And then there's other exterior walls as well where that slab's continuing. So one of the big issues in construction as you start thinking about thermal energy is that normally in that case where you have an exterior door or a multi-slider, you're gonna have the slab that under normal circumstances, you know, you pour this slab and it comes to the exterior of the stem wall, right? So you have this solid slab to here. Well, here's the issue. As that sun's beating, especially in July, that sun faces south, we have that sun coming in, it's gonna heat this concrete. Concrete, again, is gonna bring that heat all the way into the house, and so you're gonna feel it warm. You know, this channel inside the home, that slab is gonna be warm. Because that heat is beating here on the slab, it's exposed to the elements, it's gonna bring it through. So we need a thermal break. So in amazing details, we're working with Scott Carson at Cosan Studio. He came up with an idea that'll structurally be sound as well as thermally sound, right? So with this slab, we're actually gonna install break here. So here in the center of this wall, we'll have uh, a piece of rigid foam. So we'll have foam installed in the middle. So now our slab, as we pour it into your slab, it's gonna come tight to the foam. And then again on the exterior from the foam going out, we'll pour the slab. So now you have your continuous slab that's broken. Uh, it has this channel of rigid foam in between the slab. What that does now is as the sun beats on the concrete here on the slab, it can't radiate all the way through. It doesn't bring it through. It stops right here at the rigid foam. So there's a true break there. This will really help achieve the net zero, especially in the summer. It helps keep that, that home extremely tight and energy efficient. And then structurally, it won't impact the structure because uh, of the way that everything's installed, level and plumb. And so working that detail out with our engineer and architect. Now, as we go through and we install multi-sliders or we go vertical with the ICF wall, on top, everything's still structurally sound. We have the thermal break. So now we're achieving that net zero that we really need and keeping away from that sun that's no fun here in July. 